Hi, it's Mel from Ultima Oski and I'm here today to do another video on the implementation station, specifically STAT medications, as a number of nurses are struggling with um, how to sign for and code STAT medications. So, before we start on about STAT medications, let's just give a brief overview about the clinical competency you're being tested on in the implementation station. So what the OSCE examiners are looking for is um, your ability to manage medicines, what they call medicine management. So medicine, medicine management is not just straightforward administration. It is demonstrating for each medication that you give that um, the medic, you know what the medication is for, what the effects are, the benefits to the patient, a couple of the side effects, and also when it is not safe to give the medication. For example, giving a medication to your patient, even though it's been prescribed, that the patient is allergic to. Okay, so let's apply our knowledge about medicine management to stat medications. Okay, so I have got a chart here, and as you can see, this is a blown up chart, I hope you can see it, of what um, the OSCE MAR chart looks like. And if you look in the stat medication section, which will be on the second page of the, of the MAR chart you get, you will see at the top of that page there are orders for stat medications. So a stat medication, as you know, is a medication that is only to be given once and the prescriber has decided that the medication needs to be given at a set time. So if you look into the stat medication order, you can see that John Oski, our Oski patient, has a stat order for cyclozine, and this cyclozine is to be given at two o'clock today, and in the implementation station scenario, it's two o'clock, and you're giving all due medications for two o'clock. But before we go ahead, we have to look at this medication, so it's, a, it's the right dose, it's been signed by the prescriber, it might meet all the rights of medication, but we have to remember that we have to look at the rest of the um, OSCE drug chart, and when we do, we see that in the PRN section of the chart, the drug has already been given at one o'clock. So if we give this cyclozine, we will be overdosing our patient because cyclozine can only be given eight hourly. So it will be correct medicine management to not administer this medication as it is not safe to do so. So because this is a due medication, we need to code this medication to meet the NMC standard for not giving a medication. So we can write our code, sorry, um, which could be number six, wrongly prescribed, or two, omitted for clinical reasons. Both of those reasons are appropriate for this, um, this medication error the prescriber's made. And then we go to the back of our chart and we write down um, the time, cyclozine, and the reason why this drug has been admitted, and we sign for it. Okay, that is what you need to do. You need to code that you haven't given medication. Also, um, the NMC standards for medication require us, whenever we omit a due medication, to inform the prescriber to tell them what we have done, that we've omitted the medication. So we'd also verbalise this to the examiner. Okay? I hope this has made stat medications a little bit more easy for you and a little bit easier to understand. Please follow us on YouTube, um, the Facebook page or the WhatsApp group and ask any more questions you want in the box below and I'll try and get back to you and answer it if you're watching on YouTube. Okay, all right, bye.